And then finally, with conditional formatting, I'm going to show you how you can use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the cells that you want to format doesn't have to be the same range that contains the numbers. It can actually be a range that has a bunch of text. For example, if I want to be able to format any months that has cells greater than 1,000, so February will, not March, that's at 1,000, but not greater than 1,000, June, July, and December, then we can go ahead and select the range, come up here on the Home tab to the Styles group, click on Conditional Formatting, and go down to New Rule, and then select Use Formula to determine which cells to format, then come down below and type in your formula. Now the formula is going to be, well, first starting with cell B3, does B3, or the number therein, greater than 1,000? So equals B3 greater than 1,000. If so, then what format do we want to apply to it? Let's go ahead and click on the Format button and choose a format. I'm going to go to the Fill tab and choose Green. Oh, that's a fun color. Let's go ahead and click OK. Click OK, and there you go. Now notice that we started with B3. Well, that's the only thing we typed in, and so it's dynamic, the formula. Just as we learned in an earlier training video with copying and pasting, unless you tell it to stay put by using absolute references, it's going to update. So with the range selected over here, we're going down row by row. So it takes a look at the first cell over in the next range here that we chose. It could be a range over here, but it happened to be adjacent to the data that I want to apply the formatting to. And it takes a look at it and says cell B3. Are you greater than 1,000? If not, let's go down to the next row, which is 4. Greater than 1,000? Yes. So it formatted it. Then it went down, greater than 1,000, and so on. Having said that, if there ever comes a time where you don't want it to be dynamic, you just want to focus on one cell when it comes to applying your condition, then come back up here, click on Conditional Formatting. Let's go down to Manage Rules. And it's not for our current selection. Let's do it for the entire worksheet here. And it's this one right here. Double-click on it to edit it. And we can say, stay in row 3. Do not come down and update as it shifts down with the selection that I have over here for the conditional formatting. So if I apply a dollar sign in front of the number 3 and click OK and click OK, nothing is going to be formatted. Why? Because it's telling it to stay in row 3. And so as I'm moving down, like to February, it says, is 975 greater than 1000 for February? Of course not. Remember, it's staying here. It's not coming down here because we put an absolute reference or a dollar sign to always stay in row 3. Now that makes sense because we're going down row by row from one month to the next. If we were going over column by column, then you want to put a dollar sign to keep it static next to the B. So let's go ahead and select the range and undo that. Conditional formatting to manage rules. Double click. Get rid of the absolute reference so you don't have to absolutely stay in row 3. We want you to update. Click OK. And then go down from one row to the next. As we have selected over here and compare and contrast between, is that greater than 1,000? Yes. Then go ahead and apply green to the month of February and these other last three months. And then finally, as we talked about in an earlier training video when it comes to sorting cells that contain colors, well, we didn't have any back then, but hey, we do now. And so when you look at this range right here, let me come up here and click on Conditional Formatting and click on Manage Rules. Here's the conditions. Any cell that's less than 980, go ahead and put it in the red. Anything greater than 980 is in the blue. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and close out. And then to sort it, let's go ahead and select any cell within our database. And then come up here, click on the Data tab. Go to the Sort and Filter group, and let's click on the Sort, which is the custom sort. And we'll say Sort by column B, which is this column right here, of course. And then do we want to base it upon values or cell color? And then when we do it by cell color, it finds all the colors within that column there. And we just have two, and we can say, let's have red on top. Click OK, and there you go. Of course, it messes up the months because in February we had cells that were greater than these lesser months here, so that got flipped down below, sorted into the blues. And then, of course, if you want to go ahead and undo that and sort it back to the sort by months, then come back up here, click on Sort, click on the drop down arrow, do it for total sales, and then go ahead and click on the drop down arrow, do it based upon values. And then click on A to Z to custom list. And then choose January, February, March, and so on. Click OK, click OK, and we're back to where we started here. And then finally, you can actually filter by color. 
Just select any cell within the data range here of the database. And then come up here on the Data tab to the Sort and Filter group. Click on Filter. Gets the two little drop-down arrows. Click on the one for the column B. And we can filter by color and say we just want to see pink. Cool. And then when we're done, we can go ahead and clear it all. And then deselect filter to go back to the way it was. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.